Hey, what's going on, everybody? Boylon here, and today we have. Oh, also, happy Halloween, everyone, because this is coming out uh, on the Monday. We have happy a special Halloween. guest, Valley Flyin. Say Hello. hi, Valley Flyin. Happy Halloween, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you're having a great day. And I didn't think I was actually going to be doing this on Halloween, but here we are. I, ha ha you know what? I'm going to stand up for this really quickly. Uh, I, I have. You you're not going to know. This is my old jester oh, costume yes. from like ten years ago. Short yes. story here for you all. I wore this. It was I had the hat. I don't know where the hat went. And uh, I got uh, really drunk one night and I got tossed out of a club. So there you go. This is my short all right. Good Halloween times, story. baby. Good times. <laughs> I drank a little bit too much. Uh, but we are not drunk here on today's video. But we are here to talk are about... Are sure? We are playing Marvel Strike Force. You never... Well, hold on. <laughs> L let me pull up this one. Uh, everything in here is subject to change. You never know oh, what's yes. going to go on. So... <laughs> Maybe what I say is not actually true, but uh, we are here to talk about Apocalypse. And I know that this hasn't necessarily been on a lot of people's mind lately because we've still been talking about uh, the Horseman characters, things like that, with Archangel coming up. But uh, yeah. there has been, I think, some concern in the community about you know what we're going to be expecting, how we're going to get there, but also what happens after or when we get there. Because I've talked to a lot of people, and I'm sure you mentioned you have as well, that some yeah. people are just waiting to get there and then maybe deciding what their future is in Marvel Strike Force at that point. I mean, that's, so. that's the same kind of comments people were making for Dark Dimension 5. I'm just going to unlock Dormammu and then I'm done playing. It's and true. You're the same kind of comments. <laughs> maybe. Like, I'm just unlocking Apocalypse and then I'm done. I'm doing all the work for this character <laughs> and then and then that's it. I'm done. I guess so we'll, 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 but see it's, it's, we'll see what We're going to talk about that because I think it's a little bit different, though, in terms of the characters you're building. Because before in Dark Dimension, you were not necessarily forced into it, but now you kind of are in terms of yeah. what you're building. So this one feels <laughs> a little bit different or worse Get me. than that and we're going to talk about all that and more in today's video so if you're ready to go everyone let's boil this down oh yes i like it i love that <laughs> let's do it and welcome back everyone and so I, i'm starting here in my roster and i want to start first to talk about both of us where are, are you at in terms of your gearing for this? But also, where are you at for Gear 17? Have you upgraded anyone to Gear 17 yet for this? One character I have at Gear 17, okay. and that's Morgan Le Fay. Yes, yeah, so do I. Missing so missing I one piece there. for Rogue, missing one piece for Red Hulk. I'm waiting on them, but okay, th so those, will be my sec those will be my second and third planned Right, so I've done I that there. now. I have Rogue and, and Red Hulk at 17. Nice. Now, it was after when I upgraded Red Hulk, though. Actually, maybe, you know what? We're going to hold that thought because I'm going to get to that in the, the second bit. So I have the Horseman. I did. I don't generally I, I don't feel bad about this because I, I think that whether we get baby apocalypse or big apocalypse, we're going to be using the Horseman. So yeah. I am OK with these upgrades. But I'll tell you what I don't like is I don't like the thought of who we have to gear up totally. And, and this, come, you know, we know that there's like one or two characters in every uh, Horseman team that are kind of like they're the scarlet witch right you, you know of the team and it just doesn't feel yeah good. you know so no. are, are you six have you 16 to everyone though at this point or or which of the three teams that your uh, characters are you dark missing? hold dark hold is all gear 16 right now because i want to do the waken unlimited mm -hmm. is all gear 16 because i want to do the waken gamma is going to be a problem for me because of the bionic avengers i was like oh i'm going to uh, use them every day i'm getting a lot of this gamma stuff let me just go ahead and uh, upgrade iron man let me upgrade vision and that was a huge mistake so now oh. now my hulk now my all these guys are just waiting so gamma might be a problem but we're we're done with the 16 for the bionic dark avengers. hold and we're done with 16 for unlimited so, so did you 16 that's, you, that's you 16 bionic avengers and you ran out of uh gamma radiation or? uh not all of the bionic avengers but the two that took the bionic uh, the gamma, the gamma. radiation vision okay. vision and iron man so the two worst ones is what i did yeah so my abomination is still 15 because i also uh i 16 vision and then i mm. 17 to red hulk so that was 22 more of those so ah. I, didn't, I didn't have them uh, left over to put onto abomination but there's these characters, right? There's usually, like I said, there's one or two of these characters every patch, or every uh, every team. Scarlet Witch. There's, you know, if my game loads a little bit faster, of course, uh, there is uh, Phantom X on the Unlimited X Men. Now, I, yeah. Yeah, of course, we kind of, and I, the only reason I haven't done Gambit yet well, is because I 17 <laughs> Morgan Le Fay, so I, I ran out okay. of Osmium to do it. Okay. But I'm at 10 out of 18, so that hopefully won't be too long. 
you know, okay. I, I've been hoarding, you've probably been hoarding as well, the, the orbs, because we thought that the new unique was going to be in there. So I'm still hoarding them, which is why I haven't opened my teal to possibly get more of the Chrome, uh, of the do you, do you think they're actually going to put that unique for Iron Man in those orbs? Is it worth hoarding? Or I mean, I don't know. 2023 and do something like that. I don't that? know. Cause... But if I open them now and then, yes, they add them in, I'm going to feel bad about that. So this is, this you is don't... Marvel Horde Force, right? <laughs> They're gonna they're gonna make the announcement one day after you like yeah. screw it. They're not gonna do anything. I'm gonna open them all. The next day they're gonna be like, "All right, you're gonna we're gonna add this orb in." Yeah. In the next couple, couple weeks. I, I've compensated. A, I'm gonna, I should probably get them to level ninety at least to compensate the stats with the with the gold. Because yeah, I do want to have them. There's but. no rush. There's no rush. You're not getting her awakened ability until you gear sixteen. Seven. Him. So seventeen is the. Oh, sorry. The awakened. I have the awakened. Sixteen. Stuff. That was fifteen. Seventeen is the costume. Oh, what am I doing? Okay, okay. D3 or difficulty 3 is the costume. That's G17. That's not happening anytime soon for me. So, but you need 16 for the Apocalypse Saga to get Baby Apocalypse. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So, 50, so, you, 50, so you do no need wonder, to do 16. No wonder. But, and this is my Gamma. So I'm actually done everyone except for Abomination, like I said, uh, because I don't have the, the Gamma Radiation. I need nine more of those. So kind of like my Gambit situation right here a little bit. Uh, but other than that, I'm pretty up to date, and I tier 16 Magneto already. Man, dude, so, you're jeez, dude, you but, are all ready for Apocalypse. But after I did the tier 17s, it really just dawned on me, you know, how likely is it that we are going to get big Apocalypse? You know, are we going to be? Okay, keep in mind, there's other characters. Sorry, I forgot. Uh, Spider Weaver. And uh, the other strike characters that they said are going to be required for this. So I do a 16 Spider Weaver. That's fine. She's a good character. Anyways, yep. so, you know, that's very good. I don't, I don't feel bad about that. And actually, I, I gave her uh, blue four as well. So I didn't feel Ooh, bad about that. Oh, you went hard on her. Okay. Um, but if you remember this photo here, right? So not only do you need the 20 characters from the four teams, which obviously this is Archangel now, the team Death Horseman uh, and, yep. Death, and Death Seed. But there's the additional strike requirements. So so far, my guess is that's going to be five characters because that just makes sense. One team, maybe it's going to be the uh, the Apocalypse Saga is probably like one team per node, something like that. And there's five nodes, maybe and you have to clear all five of them in order to actually get him. Something like that is kind of what I'm thinking. And so it, it's probably, probably going to be five characters then. And so we ha possibly have four more. Now... The do you think these characters are in the game right now? Is <laughs> Mr. Negative one? Is Zombie yeah. Iron Man one? Or I mean, they very well we could be. Not, uh, get the, have they not even been announced yet? I do find it funny, though, that if that's the case, that they haven't... They didn't tell it up front, because I feel like from a financial perspective, if they mentioned it up front, that they would have sold better, because people would, would clamor to get them. So, yeah. uh, from that... Per I mean, who knows? But that was just my thought that yeah, if they wanted more money, they would say that, and then people. Well, would they buy did more. announce Weaver before, as they announced Weaver's kit. So before Weaver's mm -hmm. offer or anything came out, they said Weaver is going to be a character. They didn't say that about Zombie Iron Man or Mister Negative. Yeah, so it, it, it probably couldn't. The now the question is, do we have existing characters already that are part of that? That's possible that are already out. Uh, I don't know Nick Fury like sixteen. That suck because he's like super expensive to build anyways. Oh. But you never oh. know. Maybe some people have already done that. <laughs> uh, that's, <laughs> but that's, that's not a very Ultron, good character. Ultimus, you know, all, some of these, you know, existing like big Ultimus. bad characters. They would do Ultimus. They you would know. do Ultimus for the character. <laughs> but my point really is, is that there's. I'm going to assume there's going to be five of these. So that's like 25 characters that not okay. only do you need to bring to Gear Tier 16, but you also need to bring to Blue Level 4. Now, how many of your total 20 plus characters do you have at four? Do you, I think I have like eight or nine. I have Spider Weaver, um, a couple on Dark Hold, uh, all the horsemen, the main horsemen have it. And yeah, I think I, I don't have a lot that are uh, level four right now. I think I might have two, Rogue, Red Hulk, oh, Morgan Le Fay. I put it on Squirrel Girl. <laughs> Oops. I I actually did Squirrel Girl also before that announcement <laughs> yeah. was made. I was like, oh, I wish I could take that back. And I did a few pieces on Sunspot on accident, but since, Sunspot since uh, some Sunfire. Oh, I was gonna Sunfire. say Sunspot's not in the game yet. Sunfire, Sunfire. <laughs> I did a few. You pieces know on something that I don't, Valley Flying, because I do like him. No, I, I, I don't know. Maybe maybe he's a Death Seed character. I don't know. I haven't heard anything though. But interesting. So I I think I have. 
Yeah, I, yeah, I have Agatha, Morgan, all the Horsemen, and Spider Weaver. So and so maybe that's six or seven, but I do have enough right now to upgrade. I think two more. I have two point four million blue four ions, so I think I can get maybe three more out of this actually. So I think I'm probably at nine. Okay, but but here's I, the, so you're, I you got a little less than three million in the yeah. ISO four blue that I just have sitting there. I'm not sure what I want to do with it yet. You're you're probably so not too far off. From it's going to go at. to the yeah. I think we're pretty similar. I did I did uh, Morgan Le Fay. I did the rest of the uh, Horseman characters. I did Agatha, I believe, and maybe Wong. And I think that's it. But so now we're coming up on the start of November. Uh, I don't know how long Blue Four has been out. Actually, uh, I think maybe about like five, maybe five months, five six months. I don't know how long it's been now. But seems like longer, but that, that, that probably yeah. I you know maybe around when Morgan Le Fay came out. I don't. I'm not sure. But that was in April, and we're we're coming up on the start of November. And so the question is, is this going to be the main bottleneck? Because as you saw with my roster, I pretty much have everyone at tier 16, which is mm -hmm. the minimum requirement of Baby Apocalypse. So is the bottleneck really going to be the blue four ions and not the gear? And will we have enough to have the 25 characters by... I don't know when you're projecting Apocalypse. I'm kind of projecting him to be like March of next year. If we have... Oh, what is actually going to be released in the game? Yeah. I, I was saying February at the earliest okay. for the longest time. So anytime after February, I think, is likely. If we have Archangel in um, in December sometime, and then maybe three months on from that is what I was thinking, uh, when he might come around, and because that would give the time for the second uh, Archangel run, because we have to have the saga first before. I don't know if we do. I don't know if well, we. Do. Oh, the saga. The saga. The yes, Archangel the saga, saga has yes, to be clear. Another. Yeah. Okay. Uh, in order to get into the Apocalypse uh, saga, I think as well. So that gives me a timeline of that. Now the question is, that's possibly only four months from now. If the blue fours have already been out for five or six months or whatever, and we only have four more, then maybe that's that in, is indeed where the bottleneck is, and we won't at least us, you know, normal people, you know, won't probably have the blue fours to even get the baby version by that time. We're not we we haven't even got to talking about big apocalypse yet, really, you know. But even just baby apocalypse, maybe that's going to be for the spenders who buy those offers, those blue four ion offers, or the leaderboards, because I think it wasn't it Midnight Haunt or some other ones had some crazy. Uh, they had you know, some. They had some fives. Ions. They had some elite blue fives in there for <laughs> for the top fifty, but nobody, everybody else got fours. So the question is, will we even be able to get baby apocalypse when his saga first comes out, or are we still going to be waiting on the bottlenecks on the blue fours? Do you think? That we, th do you, do, do you think we will be getting it right away? I think I think if I didn't do those uh, Iron Man and Vision, the bottleneck would purely be the the ISO force because those yeah. are only in events. You know, we get like coordinated assault and different events. If they choose not to run those events, there's no way that we can get those ISO eight force. So yeah, that, that, that's that's I many. think the bigger bottleneck. Yeah, if if you're playing it right and not playing it wrong like I am, I'm I'm, I'm gonna have a bottleneck of both gear and ISO eight for yeah. And so here we are, of course, this is big boy, this is Apocalypse right here. And so I guess really that leads to the next question that I have is, you know, should we even bother for big Apocalypse? Because now we're talking about one step higher. We're talking about blue fives. We're talking about gear 17. And yeah. all 25 characters that we're going to need to build for that, including the crappy ones we don't want to do, right? You know, Scarlet Witch, Phantom X, uh, yeah. She-Hulk whoever right uh that that ends up being on that list the psylocke i think she might be like the the scarlet witch of the team so far possibly uh -huh. and so maybe we're not gonna it, it definitely it just doesn't feel good to 17 scarlet witch or or phantom x because it just feels like my gears just being like ripped from me for no reason so i don't think that this is designed personally for people like us i think it's designed for those those top 50 people I think that's no, it. like I, I agree with you. You I and mean, you made a good point before this. What's coming after Apocalypse? Do we want to use our gear for Apocalypse when he's here in the meta, or should we be saving that for the next character? Because yeah. if Scopely has shown us anything, they do the same things over and over and over again, and they probably let, made a lot of money with Apocalypse. They're probably going to do another year-long legendary type event similar to this you know and if they do that it's not going to be the same characters they're not going to say take red hulk to gear tier 18 or 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 morgan Le Fay to 18 it's going to be i don't know uh the, the hair you know if it, hypothetically right not if even a game yet 
if it's go- that I, I know right yet. whoever it is it's going to be new characters to 17 minimum because it's 16 17 right now it's going to be 17 18 for this next character so maybe those 17 pieces instead of taking it for the you know those 25 characters you need Again, I don't feel bad about the Horseman characters, because uh, I'm probably going to be using them in Arena, but I don't want to put it into Scarlet Witch or Phantom X or She-Hulk or whatever, so maybe we should all hold on to those things for the next thing next year. Uh, yeah, so we get think, an early prep for that. I do think unless, until we get more information about things becoming more available, I think the good play here is just to shoot for that baby Apocalypse. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, and, and, and save our gear for the next thing down the road, you know, and then... Then, then there's always that uh, conundrum. Do you do you save and hoard now, sacrificing what you're doing in the game right now, or do you put it for right now because this is going to benefit you now and you don't know what's coming down the road? So so much you, Marvel that's, that's hoard force. Options. It's just you like gotta hoard. I, I feel like if you hoard though, you do tend to come out on top a little bit better than people who don't, and that's the sad thing. Whether how long you had to actually hoard for, I still feel that like those people do better overall because they did that because because they uh didn't go all in onto something and so that's why i'm really concerned here i'm looking at omega red right and like so are you planning now that we've had this talk to g17 anyone outside of the main horseman characters or you i don't think think i will i don't think i will at all it'll just be the horseman and then i'll be kind of wait and see it's kind of like i'm doing with all my ice weight four blue Stuff. I've, I've, there's characters that I can take up, but I'm just waiting. I'm, mm-hmm. you know, we'll we'll see what's going to happen down the Be- road because they're so valuable, and really the only places you can get them is is you know in the store, you know, for a very high cost. Uh, and the, events, uh, yeah. I mean, there's events. really no not many places to get the 17 minis really yeah. at this point. And so my final thing that I want to talk about really is what do you think the impact is going to be for Apocalypse primarily in the arena? Uh, or are people going to break up all four, you know, are you going to see a full horseman team in Crucible, in War, Defense, or something like that? That's it's, breaking it's, up a lot of characters, though, if you do that. Yeah, I mean, it sounds like the horsemen are designed for specific, and, and their teams are designed for specific uh, purposes in the game. Darkhold, Arena, but they're probably going to be replaced by Apocalypse and all the horsemen. Uh, you're still going to have value in War from... Uh, Red Hulk and the Gamma team, you're probably going to still get a lot of value in Crucible from this Unlimited X-Men, especially if they continue these seasons and the bonuses that they have. And then Raids, you'll benefit one section, the Mutant section in Doom, and I think that's going to be the teams to beat. But uh, Arena, I think that's going to be a full Horsemen and Apocalypse team, just because of the way they're doing all their synergies with these epic sagas that they're doing. So it looks like that's going to be a team to combine, but yeah. in Arena, not in other game modes. So you don't think that there's going to be those couple people who like, you know what, we're just going to blow up all these teams. We're, we're going to put Apocalypse and the Four Horsemen on on a Crucible defense or Arena defense just because you oh, can. Oh, there will be. <laughs> uh, there will be. And based on what other characters we have coming in the game, they, they might be totally right or they might screw themselves on the other things. It's yeah. There's, there's so much uncertainty with Scopely and Marvel Strike Force and... No, no, no. So I, I think I think uh, Arena is going to be the best place for them, though. My biggest concern, actually, and this is just a hot take here, is that uh, we've been seeing new characters come out uh, where you can't actually purchase orbs for them with cores. So I, you can see on my screen, I, I have eleven thousand cores, and this is even after coring six hundred a day for Zombie Iron Man. That mm. I haven't been able to spend my cores on character orbs like Zombie Iron Man or uh, Mister Negative, other characters, and I'm wondering if this is going to continue down the line because. That might devalue Arena, because if there's nowhere else for me to spend my excess cores, what am I hoarding all this for? That's a good point. That's a good point. But there's always there's always ways to spend cores on energy. True. And uh, refreshing different things. They, there's a, they'll, they'll find a way for you to get that 11,000 out of your inventory <laughs> and in, into their surplus that they got. Yeah, I mean, we'll see. Uh, I'm just concerned because from a free to play perspective, I don't, I don't always buy new characters. So usually for me, one of the best ways that I've found is just to, to maybe not the best way, but I'm spending eight thousand cores or whatever on a 100 shard character to get them unlocked because mm. you know then I don't have to spend my money because the that's kind of what you got to do. You got to make choices. I know you can't have everything by purchasing, but you got to make choices. What is the best choice and. I don't know. It, it seems like they don't like you to have choices. They want you to purchase everything and have no choice. Of course, so they can make the money off the me. Setting. They don't yeah. want me to hoard all these cores to you know unlock characters for free. They don't want that. 
No freeloaders. You're playing a scope play game. You need to pay if you want to. Just because I play well, uh, I have to get punished that I, you know, can't unlock a character for free. Yeah. So finally, yeah. what's your okay. excitement level out of ten for Apocalypse? Even though I know it's still three to four months down the line, are you concerned? Are you excited? Are you cautious? Where you at? So far. I think I'm all those things. I, the okay. rating right now is five because I don't know if I'm going to unlock him. Now, once I get him, I'm going to be super excited that I have him <laughs> because I think there's going to be a lot of haves and half nots. I think I'm going to be in that half not category in the in the beginning. So I'll leave like a five unless there's do something with the resources that we're getting more ISO eight four level uh, the blue stuff the the um, they're they're uniques the mini uniques. I need gamma radiation. So unless that comes in waves, it's it's gonna be four or five, yeah, something around so, there. Because I don't think I'm getting him. I think my biggest concern, I guess, and you know, I'm kind of somewhere similar. Like I'll I'll, I'll say four, and and that's just oh. because I'm concerned about where the game goes from there afterwards in terms of the player base. Just because I just wonder, are the player is the player base gonna hang on? afterwards when they find out what if the release doesn't really go as positively as we want it to be and i'm kind of concerned about the impact for uh, us as players the player base is it going to dec it's been in decline a little bit over the last you know six to eight months is that gonna mm. get worse and so because i want this game to be successful but i want this game to have a lot of players as well and so it needs to be fun. It needs to be fun for that. They need to bring back the fun and then stop focusing on the monetization. That's that's how they bring the players back, and that's how they yeah. keep the players. This is a one-year experiment that they're trying, and we'll find out if it's successful for any of us going forward, I guess. We will. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there. Thank you, Valley Flying, for coming on to the Boylon channel, of course. And uh, Thank I'll you, leave brother. Some links, for, if you, for some reason, don't know who Valley Flying is, uh, I'll leave the links in the description below, and you can follow that to his channel, and hit the like and subscribe buttons and all that stuff, both to my videos and his videos. Okay, my voice is kind of getting a bit <laughs> raspy now, so... It's getting I'll the do Halloween my usual mode. thing yeah, here. You're getting ready for Halloween. <laughs> I know, yeah, more drinking, maybe. <laughs> All right, everyone. Yeah, I need that for Marvel Strike Force. Yeah. <laughs> All right, everyone. So that's it. Uh, until next time, stay safe and healthy. And yeah, do stay stay safe and bleh, do stay safe and healthy because it is Halloween. You never know. Yeah. Uh, there's some crazy stuff know. going on in the world. So make sure that you're that you're keeping yourself good. And uh, until next time, uh, you know I, I lost my train of thought. It doesn't really matter. Happy Halloween, everyone. Uh, I'll see Happy you guys in the guys. next video. Boy, Lord of Valley Flying, signing out. Woo.